Welcome back to the next great. That's right, I have finally decided on a name for my Wednesday and now Thursday videos. This is going to be the next great series. Why are we calling it that? Why am I calling it that? I say we like I have help. No, why am I calling it the next great? Because I absolutely believe that I am covering the next great author or game developer or movie producer or music writer musician musician i could have said me you think me being a musician myself I, I could have figured that one out but ladies and gentlemen that's right i don't know who it's gonna be and i don't know when it's gonna hit for them but i absolutely believe that here on wednesdays when i record these videos and release them on wednesdays and thursdays i am covering the next great so why don't we get into it tonight on the next great we are covering author Colin Glassy. Uh, he has the Burning Tower, which is going to be an epic fantasy adventure exploration. Travel to a new world. The secret journey begins here in book one of four so far. So why did I choose Colin this evening? As everybody knows, I've told you my criteria for choosing every week uh, completely. It's just different every single week. And in this tweet here, his cover totally caught my eye. I absolutely love the aesthetic of it. I'm really into a lot of the fantasy elements of uh, what I have been reading uh, lately. And I just absolutely thought this looked interesting. So, oh, also, the, the part of the reason that I chose him is my co-host from Iron Age Knights, Mr. Daniel P. Riley, commented one of his books. And I told him that I would cover his book on Iron Age Knights because he's my co-host and he sucks at shilling his own stuff. So I'm going to shill it for him on Iron Age Knights. You guys better hold me to that. But without any further ado, let's get over here to Colin Glassy, author. All right, let's click the Amazon link. And sometimes I click these links and they work in the... Ooh, he's got the paperback available here. Absolutely fantastic. 8.88 for the paperback version of this book. That is awesome. That is absolutely fantastic. And it looks like here we can listen. But before we get into that, let's read a little bit of the description here. An epic fantasy for 300 years. The path lay untouched and forgotten. But a chance discovery of an old map will change the course of history. Danger and adventure await for those brave enough to cross the 2,000 miles of mountains. When they reach the other side, what then? Mysteries and wonders, a mighty civilization torn apart, an empire consumed by civil war, join a, join a small group of heroes as they risk everything on a journey into the unknown. <clears throat> so, should we click the listen button, ladies and gentlemen? Should we? Should we? Let's click the listen button and hopefully, uh, better turn my uh, better turn my audio up here. Uh, hopefully, it comes through. Part one, Kelton. In the beginning, there was the map, folded twice over, stained brown with age, in places unreadable, marked by long evaporated water. The age paper fell from the book Sandon Iger held and onto his lap. Sandon expertly unfolded the sheet, despite his thick fingers, and gazed with increasing wonder at the thin, faded lines. As one of the royal archivists, he was supposed to know every chart, sketch, tracing, and plan in the collection. He loved maps and had loved them ever since he was a boy, and he really did know all the drawings in the king's collection. His love of depictions of the world could be dated to the hour that he had entered his father's workroom and found, spread out on the drawing table, a large vellum map of Hepedion. In that hour, he felt like a seagull over the town. Hmm. Every building and every street through which he had run while chasing cats or other small boys, or being chased by larger boys, all this was revealed to him in a rising tide of simple joy. There was the temple, and out of the main market circle was Fish Street, crossing the old stone bridge. So what I love about this scene here, the opening scene, <clears throat> a quick background and summary on the character, what he was supposed to be, and then more we get into what the character would feel. We're talking about the character's feelings here. We're talking about memories that this person had while simply looking at a map, doing his job, 
right? I love the layers that were built into those first few uh, for the first paragraph or two that we heard there. And let's let's see what uh, let's see what the images here look like. This is the front and the back of the book. Um, and I think so. If I read this correctly about the author, Colin Glassley has driven across the United States four times and has traveled extensively through Europe and parts of Asia. He worked as a technical writer, a software engineer, and as an attorney. So this man is definitely well-traveled and is using his life experiences. What a concept to actually, somebody who has actual life experience. Uh, and it looks like here, April 12th, uh, 2017 is when this one came out. So this is definitely not a new release, but it is something that uh, I'm, I'm probably going to check out. Like I said, the fantasy stuff seems to just be grabbing me lately. Even like like video games uh, that I'm checking out now. Um, like it's just everything. The, the artwork here looks absolutely brilliant. I love what we're seeing here in in that i love his depiction i love how the description he's giving the way that he's going about telling us the background he's telling us by letting us relive what was what his character lived when he was a child obviously we're just being introduced to the character so the, i i really really enjoy the intro there let's get back over here let's click on con glassley's <clears throat> uh twitter profile here and he it looks like he has quite quite the collection of books here so not only would you be able to go and buy um buy that buy the first book you would also be able to go here and buy many more uh historic fantasy books.com let's go over here to historic fantasy books.com and check this out so the home all right the newest adventure published in august of 2021 so this is an author who absolutely has a little bit of a pedigree behind him he's working on it he's building he's creating a new world and again like i said the whole point of doing this is to shine a light on those who may not have a light shined on them already, or maybe they do, or whatever. But I am in search of the next great. And with that in mind, that is absolutely why I am here. It's time to check out and see what some of these authors who may not be in the public eye have to offer. You know, they might not have the greatest uh, Twitter followings and they might not have beef with other authors, and blah, 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 blah. But what we can see here is the passion that he is absolutely putting into his books. And again, everything here through his website, Historic Fantasy Books, which will be linked in the description below, right? As well as the Amazon link that he gave uh, in the tweet. But I absolutely believe that if you want to support the authors, make sure that you go and you check out the author on their own website and make sure that we support them there because honestly, that's the best way to do it. And just as a first impressions right now, this just makes me smile. I love the artwork. This this gives me a, uh, oh, this guy looks like the guy who played, uh, and I could totally be wrong, Prince Caspian in the, um, uh, in the Chronicles of Narnia movie. And um, it, I just get, I just get really epic adventure vibes from the artwork itself. And that's why I keep scrolling back and forth. And again, I really do hope that all of you here are are checking out these authors as much as you can and getting behind them and supporting them in a way that not just one man can do. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for checking out A Drink With Crazy. I absolutely love doing this. This is what my channel, like I do some videos covering some bigger stories throughout the week, but the goal there is to do these really big videos and try to use those videos to grow the channel. And then the next step after that is to bring all the people who come in for the big videos and expose all of those people to these fantastic authors, the writers, the comic book creators, the artists, the musicians, the movie directors, and the game developers. I've had one movie director so far on the show, and I will have more. I will find the game developers, and I will find the next great. 
So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. Love me or hate me like this book. Does it catch your eye? What are you thinking? I dedicate a special live stream to all of you every Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. This is called Sunday Coffee, reading your comments. And I go through and I read all of your comments on the last week's videos. So that way you guys can actually hear my real thoughts and reactions to what you guys are spending the time to tell me down in the comments. And now Never forget, always, always be here at 8 p.m. Central on Friday nights to check out Iron Age Nights, where myself and my two fantastic co-hosts, Mr. Richard from uh, Iron Age Media, Iron Age Dot Media, and Mr. Daniel P. Riley, a fantastic author and, well, just kind of curator or kind of helper of, I, I, I don't really know what his title is, but he helps people write books and he's just a fantastic guy. Join us every single Friday for Iron Age Nights, where we, we are bringing on new and exciting guests all the time. So thank you all so much for being here. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all for being here on A Drink With Crazy. If you guys never want to miss a notification for the channel, go down in the link in the description and click that button to follow me and support me over on Locals. It's free to join, but that's where you can support me with money if you so choose. Also, don't forget to click those Rumble and Odyssey links so that way we can get over there and keep that growing. And until next time, cheers, everybody.